What is going on YouTube? It's Boy Yaji Doga back with another video. I'm gonna tell you guys how I record in the gym, what tips I have, how to not feel awkward. You know, I know the feeling you guys have when you're, you know, just starting out hopping in the gym with a camera. Whether that's recording workouts, whether that's just recording anything in the gym, anything at all, really, I got you guys because I already know the drill. So, but yeah, I'm gonna start off with the first tip right here because the lighting is pretty fire. The first thing I want to talk about and make sure you guys really know, I got this all on my phone right here so I don't, you know, um, forget what I'm saying. Also, this video too, it's not just for guys. I know that's my that's my my targeted audience, but this is for women as well. I think that what I'm gonna say can help you guys as well in the gym. Cause I know it's really uncomfortable to step in the gym and record yourself. I'm here to tell you guys the first thing on this list. Nobody cares that you're recording. All right, nobody's looking at you. You may feel like someone's really staring you down, looking at what you're doing. You may feel like anxiety while you're setting up your camera setup. But really, guys, like nobody really cares. At the end of the day, think about yourself. Why do you come to gym? You come to gym so you can work out. Right, so you're not really looking around seeing who's looking at who who's doing what right you're focused on what you got to do Same thing with everybody else when you come in you set yourself up All right, they're sure they can look at your camera They'll probably wonder what you're doing for a second and then after that they're gonna go right back to what they were doing So that's number one and uh, I think I'm gonna talk about number two in just a second so Let's get it Hey yo, tell them how hey, tell them how important lighting is. That's number that's number two. How important is lighting? You see you see what I say it's number one, you say number two, I say it's number one. Number number one? Yeah, okay. Uh, he's saying number one, but honestly, me, I'm, I'm gonna nice say nice little, nice little drop lighting. Or whatever. <laughs> you gotta have that little. Honestly, though, it makes the content a lot more clean. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's just like if you in the dark like this, you know what I'm saying? If that's how it's looking compared to like this. You know what I'm saying? It just makes yeah, it makes it a lot different. So make sure you get like the right lighting in the right areas. A lot of times in the gym, like for me, I like put it on the ground and I'll go back and I'll check like, is it set? You know what I'm saying? If it's not set. Then I'm gonna redo it. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. You guys gotta understand. It's okay to go back and restart. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't want to leave the gym knowing like your content was messed up. So you want to make sure it's right. Though so I like to double check it. So you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Set up uh, accessories, gear, all that. I'm gonna be honest, this is what I use. I'm gonna show you. You know what I'm saying? It's a little vlog stick. The Canon M50D. I got a little mic on top. It's a road mic. It's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? This whole setup honestly was like, keep it a secret, it was about like $800. You know what I'm saying? But it's, you know what I'm saying? It's not too crazy. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's because my phone, like, I used to have an iPhone 8. It's a 12 now. So the 8 had terrible quality i didn't even have a front camera so now i got this i had to upgrade so if you guys for you guys honestly if you have a 10 and up you should be good i know the quality on there is good enough to do some vlogs so this right here will do it too this is a 12 you're gonna need something too you know what i'm saying you need high quality right so if you got to get a camera get one i know really good cameras like vlog cameras the canon g7 is it can it's canon i think it's canon g7x sony's are pretty good and uh in terms of editing i like to use final cut pro you dig but if you don't got a budget like that that you can get iMovie, you know what I'm saying? This dude right here. You use uh, Sony Vegas? Huh? You use Sony? Yeah. He use Sony, all right? Either, you can either confirm nor deny if you can get Final Cut for free, but do your own research. Facts, facts, facts. You don't gotta get like um camera or laptop. You don't have to have a MacBook to edit. I started on my phone, bro. iMovie, all right? And that's how I got done. To make thumbnails, I use those little, I put on the screen here, the apps I use to make thumbnails. If you guys want a video on that, let me know down below. But um, I gotta finish the workout, so yeah. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check, no drip this, what? tell him run it up, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell him run it up, I wake up, flex, I'm down that check, no drip this, what? tell him run it up, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might
plate. But first die, tell him run it out of ten, roll through my hands, I'm by my lonely. Turn to a savage. Get a videographer. For me personally, I got someone that can record my videos, but for a lot of you who don't have a videographer, I will recommend getting like, you know, the little tripods, you know what I'm saying? Cause you can set them up. Like right now I'm using a tripod. So literally like, I'm gonna show you in a second. I can set it up on the ground and it can record for me. You know what I'm saying? All I gotta do is click the button on my camera and it's gonna get me right. But there's also an app with the Canon uh, cameras I know that once you connect it to your phone, and you click it, it'll like record for you. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to go back and forth. You can just click on your phone. It can even take pictures for you. You know what I'm saying? So make sure if you can get a cameraman, someone that can record for you because it takes the stress out of things for you. And for the last tip that I have to be less awkward and more confident when filming in the gym is write out your what you're gonna film, like your workout, the workout you wanna get done, the exercises you wanna do, whatever you want to, you're doing in the gym, like write it out on paper or on your notes, on your phone, or whatever you gotta do, just have it written down because this just allows you to go into the gym with clarity. Because a lot of times I feel like when I go in the gym without writing down what I'm gonna be recording, I feel like I'm just going in there and just like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm thinking, right? And when you're when you're fatigued while you're working out, like you don't, you're not really at the best state of mind to think about what you need to, what do you need to record, right? So it's better to just write it out before the gym when you're when you're in a clear headspace because when you get in the gym, you're gonna get more tired as your workout goes on. So I'm gonna combine another one in here. This is also a big one. It, you gotta respect other people. I know you don't wanna hear this, but think about it. What if someone was recording, right? You, like, a lot of people, like me, I don't care if I'm in someone's film. I don't care if someone's recording themselves and I'm in their, their footage. But if I happen, or if you happen to be recording somebody who doesn't want you, or they don't even like being on camera, right? And you put them in your film, you're recording them, they're in your set. A lot of people can take offense to that. You, you just gotta be careful by who and where you're recording. Cause some people are really stingy about that. I, me personally, I don't care. I really don't care if I'm in your workout or not. But I have seen people, it hasn't happened to me, but I have seen people who have been called out for, hey, why are you recording me? Hey, why don't put me in your film? You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like that, so you gotta be cautious about it. Maybe if you want to ask, hey, is it cool if I record myself right here? Or if you don't want me to be in it, you just ask them. If it's cool if you're recording right there, all right? You can do that. But it would be kind of messed up if you just like, someone really didn't want you to be in there and you were just you just kept it. And you posted it too, don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, and for this next tip, this one's huge. Don't go to the gym at peak times to record your film. So peak times are usually times, like for me, anywhere from 12 p.m. to, or 11 a.m. to like, 1 p.m. So those are the prime peak times people like to go to the gym. Also, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. is when people love going. So for you, if you if you feel like you hate when people are around, there's too many people in the gym, you can't get anything recorded, you can't get anything done, you're afraid of how people look at you, go earlier, go in the morning, go 6, 7 a.m., go 8 a.m., you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be crazy early, even 9, 30 a.m., that's what time I go right now. And if you wanna go too at like night, go like maybe 7 p.m., because that's when people are usually leaving the gym, right? If you wanna go midday, go like 1 30, 2 p.m., you know what I'm saying? Because that's when people are leaving and you know, there's not a lot of people there. All right, guys, for the last thing, ladies, ladies, listen, I really would love to see more of you like recording your journey, recording your fitness journey. Because honestly, as a man, it feels like it inspires me and motivates me when I see other ladies posting their transformation videos, posting from their when they, where they started to where they are now. Just start a, start a new movement. Because I see a few girls doing it, but I don't see enough. And I feel like a lot of you have the potential to do it. Not only that, I want you to stop worrying about, stop thinking about it, right? When you start it, you're gonna feel good about it. This goes for guys too, is take the first step. Once you take the first step, everything else, is, it just falls in place, it's easy. You just get used to it and you just adapt, right? Just like any, any new thing, right? So just take that step, that's all you need. I promise you, when I took that first step, it, it honestly, it changed my life for me, as you guys can see. You know, it, it's just like small things, guys, take the step. But uh, yeah, that's all for today's video. If you guys liked this video, I hope you guys did, cause I, um, 
took me a minute to make this video as usual but leave a like leave a comment subscribe down below if you're new to the channel we are going crazy but you guys know the Delia Portilia. Also, guys, can I get a nickname? Like, what, what should my nickname be? I'm tired of saying Yaji Dog. I'm tired of saying this, that, that. That's not cool. You used to be Yaji the Creator, but that was too, like, childish. So, let me know down below. So, that's the end of this video. I'll catch you boys and girls in the next video. You all stay great. Do some great things for me, okay? I need you guys to go out there. I need you today, tomorrow. Plan it out. Write it out. Go get it done. The person that you really want to be is waiting for you. But you can't get there unless you don't take the step. The bigger version of you needs you. So go get it. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it.